Isn't she beautiful? She's resting very nicely and she loves the sunshine. She absolutely loves the sun and she can sit here until she's just is so hot she's just panting so heavily but she loves the sun and I don't know if you notice she's we're taking it easy because she did get spayed so she has stitches that should be staying in for oh about another week so she's a sweetheart she's two years old and She's a great size. She's about 18 pounds. And I think she's getting too hot, so she's go going. <laughs> she wants to get back in the house now. But um, she is a joy. And we are learning more about her each and every day. We don't know a lot about her because she was rescued from a shelter. And she's from Tennessee. So we thought a nice southern name like Magnolia. And we have a couple of nick nicknames already for her. Maggie May. We have Noli Cannoli. So I'm sure there'll be lots of other... Maggie May, you want to say hi to everybody? I'm going to let her inside and, and you can see more of her inside. You guys out there, I just wanted to show you what I came up with. You know I'm a DIYer and I came up with an idea. There she is. Hello Magnolia. But I came up with an idea because um, I had gotten a cone for her to wear so she doesn't bother her stitches from her spay but she's been pretty good but the cone was just so big for her head she couldn't rest. So I decided, I actually happen to have, this is like a tube, it's a knit tube, and I happen to have this, and it actually was leg warmers that I had had in my drawer, never wore. So I actually cut them down, and I thought if I just cover that area, then she can't access it as easily. So let me, I have to track her down to put it back on her. I take it off while she's outside because it's so hot. So I managed to slip the tube over her. Usually I go up through the back way and get it around her waist. And I cover the area that has the stitches. But I just put it over her head here. So here she is. Isn't she beautiful? What a joy. She's such a good girl. She has medication for a couple different things because she was astray before she was taken to the shelter. She actually had contracted worms. So she's on medication for that for about three months till she gets rechecked. And then she's also on an antibiotic because she had a tick illness and she's recovering. But she's very energetic. You would never know that she was on the streets and on her own for a while. And she's just a sweetheart. She really is such a good girl as you see here. I just love Beagle. She's a, a hunter. She really loves to go after the trail of a rabbit. The second day she was with us was actually the first time we heard her bay. And it was such a wonderful sound because, as you know, I lost my 19-year-old Beagle Bassett last year. So we haven't heard that beautiful sound in a while, but we're ready to explore every day more joy with this beautiful pooch. So if you haven't subscribed, friends, I'd love it if you hit the red button. And Magnolia and I will see you next time. Peace and love.